All right, Tara asks backward here with a third political reading, December 28th, 2023. Um, I want to do an energy reading on the Middle East. I was going to read on Lauren Boebert, having gone into the 4th District in Colorado, but I want to see if America is going to get drawn into another war in the Middle East. This time, maybe on a bigger scale. Um, so I guess the energy read is going to be on America. Um, I'm going to use the Visions of Life Tarot uh, from Taroko Studio. Not always adhering to... Um, well, you know what? Why don't we use a regular tarot? Uh, I mean, or as close to it as I want to go without actually using one, if that makes any sense. Oh. Okay. Garbage Pail Kid Tarot. So as you've probably heard, um, and I had said this in a reading a while back that I saw surface to air missiles and missiles have been lobbed at some of our interests and our, our uh, defenses in either is it Syria uh, or Iraq. Iraq is the epicenter of where everything's happening now, ironically, not Iran. I guess by proxy, Iran can go into these places and just... Hezbollah, rather, or whatever. Um, so, I don't want to ask it if it's inevitable that we get drawn into it, because if it's inevitable, I'm, I guess I'm susceptible to confirmation bias by asking it that way. I guess... Um, How are we going to do this? Yeah, okay. Is is the United States going to get drawn into a long, protracted, bloody world war in the Middle East? I'm just going to come out and ask it. I'm God of my angels. Too many times before, yet not enough to, to have won the battle. yet not won the war. It's enough to make people who are already crazy have the possibility of facing more. Show me the prospects of getting sucked into a vortex of unending heartache and bloodshed. The likes of which our fates have never met. Okay. All right, current energy we're sitting in. Right, Ace of Wands. Uh... Yeah, you guys, um, right now there's a definite opportunity for this. Um, and I think with the jihadists and the people over there, I'm hearing gaslighting, fanning the flames, fueling the flames. One fire leads to another fire, like wildfire. Yeah, I don't like that. So that's my, a uh, yes. Um, the greatest challenge as far as getting into a long protracted bloody war in the Middle East, um, five of swords, um,
Um, what makes it so hard for us to stay away or what makes it so easy for us to stay away is the fact that there are enough people out there in that part of the world that want us dead. Meaning they want to be the last one standing. But with all the different nation states over there that fund terrorism, what I'm feeling is that one of them wants to be the prime mover over there. And they will fight to the death to do it. Now, if that means fighting us, so be it. If we make the right decision and say we do not have to be the type of people or the, the people in the world who have to be the world's salvation for everything and go over there and unload a can of whoop-ass and defend honor and all this other crap, maybe, and I know people are going to say this is a, what is the term? nationalistic no that's not really what i'm aiming for because that has sort of a trumpist vibe to it or trumpist jingoistic vibe but the word that's used isolationist or i really feel you guys that if we get sucked into this very easily it can really 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 do some damage um but let's look at let's look at the conscious intent um, or the energy we're sitting in right now. Knight of Wands. <gasps> um, they're using our I'm not going to say because I don't think it's about weaponry. They're using our own hubris and um, patriotism against us in the sense that they do want to drag us into it because they do want our blood. And deep down we know it, but we still haven't accepted that we can't... Um, that we can't be the world's salvation. You know, so instead of it being a pinnacle where or an ace, an ace of pen, an ace of wands, let's say, which we had here as the energy we're sitting as the energy we're currently um The energy around America getting into that and, and being cognizant of it and having the, allowing the flames to be stoked through the media and through what we're seeing and, or what, what we're not being told. Um, we're choosing to be <sighs> short-sighted insofar as what motivates us, meaning long-term gain to try to bring the world around to an idea about ideas about democracy and that everyone can live in harmony and not infringe on other people's territory they're incongruous in that little part of the world where there are millions of people who live their lives by what the teachings of allah were or what the teachings of judaism were and it's it's cute to be inspired is what i'm hearing but pragmatically speaking it's not possible um in the past the tower reversed um, we had surrendered to the idea that we couldn't do what I just said. That's why we had someone like a Donald Trump, because 
in part, people, there were some people that really did believe, and this is going to sound warped, but I'm going to say it anyway, with these outsourced, um, you know, telemarketing groups that are for customer service. Um, our tower moment was 9-11 at first. Um, and if you remember, you actually saw some people jumping to their death and surrendering. That's what I'm getting from this because it's, there's an element of surrender and the inevitable has already happened. So what I'm getting from this is we learned in the past, but yet when we learned in the past, we didn't get over it or have closure. And we never had closure or never should have closure after 9-11. Yet it's made us a little bit more bitter and yet at the same time misguided about our own dogma, thinking that we can go into a part of the world and um, you know, change the face or the complexion of a society that's been fighting with itself or with one another for hundreds if not thousands of years. Does that make sense? Um, in the in the subconscious, um, I'm going to read this as... Oh, how did it come through? I'm going to read it upright. Temperance. So as within, um, without. So as within... The more we put artillery, the more we put bombs, the more money we fund, the more money we give, the more, even the more humanitarian aid we give, because we're already seeing commercial ships being obstructed. Um, some of them are having to travel around what Africa or be diverted or, or Indian ships are having to be, I mean, it's just, it's having worldwide implications already. So is, so is without, so is within, or however it goes. Um, that soul substance. But the more negative energy we put into it, the more likely it's, it is to happen. And if I were going on these cards right now, you guys, I would say yes. We're going to get into one. Um, and I just got a little bit of chills up the middle of my spine. Um, Emperor reversed um, for short-term outcome. Lawlessness, dictatorships, um, um, I want to say Putin. I want to say China, all the obvious ones, uh, supporting the Arab states. We know that some of the drones, I believe, um, have been supplied by either Russia or China for entertainment purposes only, I believe. Uh, the drones that are potentially hitting us. Maybe. Um, I want to stop this soon. Um, what we're attracting. Ace of Cups. Uh, upright. So. Um, I'm hearing worldwide emotion. I'm hearing um, lots of tears. I'm hearing I'm hearing the draft coming back. I don't know why. I'm hearing institutionalized torture.
I'm hearing the seduction of promise. Like, we'll do this if you give us this. And all these little crosses are coming out of the top here. Um, what's influencing us right now? King of Wands reversed. I think the House of Representatives and Mike Johnson are going to play a heavier role than Joe Biden, obviously, uh, in determining if we go to war. Or if Mike Johnson's gone just the House for some reason. I don't know why. I, I know why I'm getting it, because upright... This would be someone trying to do good um, with the motivation, the sense of purpose, the inspiration. But when all of that's um, muddied by extreme right-wing agendas that have something to do with religion and theocracies and the same sorts of things that MAGA wants to do, guess what? Kind of align with what, even though they right now are saying they're for Israel and less for Ukraine. I'm kind of feeling, you guys, they're actually more aligned with the more radical Muslim fundamentalists than they are <laughs> with Israel. Um, that's how crazy this world has gotten. And I think we're attracting more craziness. <clears throat> I think we're also going to see more in the way of people who uh, are supported by these states these Arab states that aren't real nations or that are like uh, uh, Hezbollah or Hamas. And we're going to be seeing more of them over here because I did ask the question about the United States. We're going to see more of them in this country. Uh, hopes, hopes and fears. The hermit. Forced to go inward and really evaluate um, when we're in the thick of it or could be in the thick of it. Um, and if you look at this, this card has some green in it, like green, which makes me think of... Um, uh, I don't, nuclear waste or something. Um, and then... And finding that time to be quiet might be harder in the middle of a war. Just saying. Long-term outcome, seven of cups. Yeah, you guys, this doesn't look good at all. Uh, a lot of choices, all of which are bad. Gluttony. Um, the desire to be sexy. The gluttony. The war is sexy. The industrial, the industrial, military industrial complex is sexy. Uh, power is sexy. Okay, I've got to stop. Bye.